Um, shout out to Red. 3DS promotional case for Kirby's Epic Yarn. Why did I do it? I don't really know. Sold that for $10 and we got to sell that Monopoly AC down here. What's up, everybody? I hope you're all having a great day. I am back here with another in real life video and I've actually been really liking these in real life videos. You guys are giving some good feedback on them. Um, we got pretty good views on the last two. So we're going to come at you with another one. Um, in this video, we're going to be doing a lot of miscellaneous stuff. Actually, I'm going to show you a few additions to the collection. I'm going to talk about some stuff that I reselled, resold, because um, they're already gone. I already shipped them, except one that I got here that I'll show you in a second. And uh, also one more shout out that I want to do from this for this awesome YouTuber. Um, just want to give him a quick shout out. But yeah, let's get straight into it with some new stuff I got. All right, guys. So starting off here, we got this Raichu pop. Now, this guy obviously isn't any crazy numbers. Um, he's just like a $10 figure, but he's still cool to have. I mean, look at him. Look at that Raichu looking all nice. And then right above him, I decided to get a Wobbuffet plush. Um, this guy costed $10 as well. And yeah, he's just kind of chilling. Um, I don't know why, but he just is. So going over here, here's my gamer tag if you want to add me on Xbox. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, we do have this Wobbuffet figure right here. I've always had him, but... um. Thought he was cool. Goes along with the other thing. Um, I got this 3DS promotional case for Kirby's Epic Yarn. Why did I do it? I don't really know. Um, I think it'll be cool in like a couple years. You know, you just have like a random promotional case for the game. Do I have the actual game? No, I do not. But, you know, it's a cool little case, I guess. Um, you may think otherwise, and that's okay because, you know, it is a little bit of a weird buy. But nonetheless, we have it. It was only like $4 plus shipping. So uh, now Pikachu's fallen. And yeah, moving on, we did pick up Sonic Unleashed. I think it is complete. Let me, let me let's go down here and check. Um, I think it's complete. Yeah, perfect. It is complete. The disc is in good condition. I've already checked. I'm not going to take it out right now. But that's pretty cool. This isn't an expensive game either, but I don't have any Sonic games actually. So I was like, you know what? Why not? So we got Sonic Unleashed. Add that to the collection. And the Wii collection is looking pretty good. So yeah. My two awesome figures here. You already know. Um, I'm gonna fix this, and then I'm gonna tell you some guys. Tell some guys. <laughs> I'm really good with English sometimes. Tell you guys some stuff that I resold. All right, everybody. Back in this point of view, I'm gonna switch hands here real quick. See my finger on the camera. I'm a very good pro. I mean amateur. That was an accident, but it's gonna stay in the video because it's awesome. Um, I hope the screen isn't blurry. I literally I have an iPhone 11, and it's set to 4K 60 frames from what I know, but it's still looking a little blurry. So uh, we're just gonna go with it. Um, We'll see when I edit it. Hopefully it's good. We're gonna go over some stuff I picked up from this Thursday. I'm recording this on Friday. I went to some garage sales and some thrift stores with my brother. So um, first up, we got this Mickey Mouse holding this Easter egg. He was about $3, I'm pretty sure. Maybe two, I can't really remember, but I do have him listed for 20. There's one other listing on eBay for 20. So, you know, if I'm on all three platforms, hopefully, Mr. Mickey goes and makes me some green bucks. Um, second off here, we do have another stuffed animal that I'm pretty sure was $3. And, you know, he's, I could not find a listing for him anywhere. He's a gopha floppy wild um, bunch. And he's a tiger. Literally just says like tiger. I don't, let me see if I can show you guys here. Literally just says tiger. So we got him listed for 15. Hopefully we can make a good profit with him. But yeah, we got him too. Um, moving on here, we got this, um, <laughs> let me see if I can get this up here, pretty big, um, we got this photo tin Coda Color puzzle set, there's all seven puzzles in there, uh, I got that for one dollar, just one, and I have it up for 15, obviously on eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace, so that's all really cool, selling that for 15, got it for literally one, so I was like, why not, next up, we got this Quitch game, uh, I got this for $1 as well, and it goes for like $15 on eBay. I, I even see listings for like $20.22. So, yeah, we have this up for $15. Hopefully this gets snagged, although this has not gotten a lot of views, so I'm being honest. But, hey, we're experimenting. So, on to the next thing that we got. We got this TRW14 or whatever. It's a language translator. It is new. I took it out of the box to take a picture of it, and I didn't know for sure if it was fully new, so my bad. Um, but, yeah, we have this for – we got this for 3 and we have this listed for 15 so, you know, all my margins are going to be really small to start with. You know, I don't really have a lot of resources, but 
yeah, that's what we got to work with. And then our last thing to sell right now is this movie that we got from Goodwill. I finally, I got that eBay app with the scanner and stuff. And I just started scanning movies. And this was literally the only one I saw out of maybe like 40 that I scanned. Um, it goes for about 10 bucks. I got it for three. So I was like, why not just have a good, good looking DVD in my plethora of things to have on the resell? Um, besides that, I do have a payday game downstairs that I got for about 50 cents. I did get three board games for a dollar, but two of them smelled like really bad. The other one still does, but I'm going to try and fix that because it does have all the pieces and stuff. But the other two were all mixed up. Um, didn't really like how they look. Just threw them out because, you know, it's just a dollar. Um, my Xbox screen just went dark. That's why I got a little bit darker. Let me see if I can turn that on real quick. There we go. All right, guys. Next thing up is we got this deluxe Monopoly. Um, it's pretty large. I have to still get the uh, game board postage, whatever, boxes to send that out. Because uh, yeah, I don't have anything to send that out in. So we're waiting for those to ship that out. But what we did ship out was we got two plush, I think. We got a the T.Y. Dog cute plushie with the big eyes. Um, and we also got something I'm not thinking of. But moving on, we got the Othello little game that I got for a dollar. Sold it for five. Could have probably sold it for more, but I got impatient and just turned the price down. Um, we sold that Crash Tag Team racing game for the Xbox for $12. And the other thing is completely leaving. Oh, it was the Batman Nightlight that I just had on hand. Sold that for $10. And we got to sell that Monopoly that you see down here um, for $15. So we got to get that going out. We did get that Monopoly for Five, I think it was, but it was like four and a cookie and a lemonade or whatever. You know how garage sales do that kind of thing. So that was really cool. So basically for four to turn into 15, we'll probably get like 12 off eBay, I think, or something. So really just like a $7 profit, but that's okay, you know, small reseller. Um, So that's an update on the resells in the collection. Now I just want to show you some of my favorite parts of my actual collection because, well, I have a lot of stuff and I didn't really mention too many of my favorites, but now we can. So cue that all right guys so to start off i think we're gonna go my favorite pop figure my favorite plush my favorite game favorite poster favorite action figure i think we're gonna do those five um so starting off my favorite game in my collection as you know my favorite game of all time is where is it i literally have it in here super mario galaxy right there phenomenal game got the star down here got the movies movies i'm not gonna talk about but uh we do have this minty condition pokemon heart gold authentic now, guys, let me put this down for you and open this up, okay? This is literally complete inbox, and it looks insane. Do you have this Pokemon Heart Gold version complete inbox, authentic copy? Guys, this thing is literally insane. It goes for, I don't even know. Last time I checked, I think it was like 150 complete inbox. Nope. Yeah. Um, that's my favorite Pokemon game probably of all time, unless I'm not thinking of something. But yeah, that is my favorite game for sure. Now, let's move on to my favorite action figure. Um, I haven't even really thought about this. <laughs> I haven't even really thought about this, but it would probably be this giant Yoshi just because he sticks up above the rest and everything. And yeah, he's just cool. <laughs> so um, moving over here, we got my favorite pop figure. This guy is huge. As you can see, there's two Pikachus lined up next to him, and he's still bigger. So um, giant Pikachu, just really awesome. Pikachu. We also got this Bulbasaur Pikachu. up here. I don't know if I showed you that last video, but we got that guy. So he's chilling now. But yeah, huge pop figure, very cool, love it. Gonna show you guys the other two things now. I did wanna show you guys a few other things. If you watched my game collection, you probably saw, wow, he has a lot of SP games and also just Game Boy games that he could not play. Guys, I do have a Game Boy SP and Lime Green, um, so I can play them. I don't know why I forgot to show that completely, but turns on, it's working great. You know, I have it, don't worry. So I do have that, and also I got some styluses. I don't know when I got them. I think maybe like a week ago, week, week and a half ago. But I got these three styluses. Not too important, but you know, always need some styluses. So that's that. Just wanted to update you guys on that. And yeah. All right, guys. As for my favorite poster, I only have like a couple in my room, but one's only video game theme. If you've seen this before, you know how awesome this thing is. Super Mario Bros. They ain't playing around. This is a custom thing. I found this at the flea market. You obviously can't find this online, I don't think, unless it's from the guy that I got it from. So, yeah, this is very cool. My favorite series is Mario. So Here we go! I had to get this. I mean, it looks incredible. The artwork, yeah, it just speaks for itself. It's incredible. I love it a lot. As for my favorite plushie, obviously, we all know the Cyan Yoshi cannot be beat. My favorite guy, 
my character, my dude, Cyan Yoshi. What I'm trying to brand after, Cyan Yoshi Remains King. All right, everyone, before I close out the video, I just want to give a huge shout out. Not that he like, not that he like did anything for me or something, but I just want to shout him out because he's a cool dude and I love his YouTube. Um, shout out to Retro Rick on YouTube. I did mention him in the other video, but I thought he should get a special mention here. He has a huge collection of stuff. Um, whenever I watch his videos and see his game room, I'm always like, wow, and it like inspires me and stuff. So I just love his game room. He's a little more retro than I am, but still, his stuff is incredible. He gets insane deals. He gets great finds. You should definitely go check him out. I'll leave his link in the description down below, and I'll even leave a card here because, you know, just like that now. Good. So um, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I so told... Whoa. See, my English is so good. I showed you some stuff that I'm reselling. I told you what I have resold. I showed you a little bit of the additions to my collection. Don't know why that took me so long. And a huge shout out to Retro Rick. Um, so if you liked the video, please be sure to leave a comment down below. What is your favorite part of my collection? Because maybe you said it last time, but why don't we say it again, right? We can always repeat the same stuff, because why not? So with the Waba Fett plushie in the back, uh, he wants you to go check out all my socials at On a Ship. Link tree is literally below if you've made it to this far in the video. My link tree is literally below. Literally below. Holy crap. Um, I hope I didn't insert the in you in clip on myself because I probably did honestly. I won't nope. know. I'm not editing I'm editing this in a few days. So we'll know then. But guys, check out all my socials on a ship, link tree below. Every link you need ever. Um and yeah, check out my podcast and Nintendo Bros. Cool stuff over there, as always. And yeah, think about subscribing, guys. We just hit 200. Thank you all so much. But now the goal is 300 and we're not gonna stop. Next video is going to be a funny little video. Um, but yeah, pretty funny video coming up. Guys, I love you. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you all next time. With all my collection in the background, it's great. It's a great time. You'll have a great time if you stick around and you'll watch me grow into something great. So um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Just remember to have a good life, I guess. That's deep, huh? <laughs> well, here we are. Guys, I'm totally kidding. But have a great life, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I don't know what this outro has turned into. This is literally in real life. I'm just talking to myself right now. But you guys are going to see this. No one's here, though. So it's okay. Right? Um, but yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. This has been the longest outro probably ever. Can someone fact check that? They won't. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.